In this movie, we're going to cover string functions. Continuing along with report 3, that's our report that's just pointing at the raw data from the revenue transaction table of our test database. Go, if you haven't already, to the Field Explorer box. Let's go ahead and right-click on Formula Fields and create a new one. We'll call it Test String 1. Here is our Formula Workshop window. I'm going to go ahead and extend this out so we can see our options a little bit better. We're going to be using functions today, so we'll go ahead and minimize or close altogether the Operators window. Let's go to Report Fields. Now these are all the report fields that we've pulled in. It also helps to know what field types we're dealing with. For example, if we go back to our Field Explorer and uncollapse the revenue transaction, we get to see what type of fields we're dealing with. In this case, we're going to deal with just the strings. There is the ability to mix different types, but we're going to get to that a little bit later. So let's go back to our test string one by right clicking on it and saying edit. If need be, resize the window so it fits on the screen, or in my case, I'm going to maximize. And this time, we're going to play around with the client number and the product number. Before, I mentioned that you cannot add strings together, which is mathematically true. A plus B plus EEF does not equal 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. However, you can join strings together to form a brand new string. So in this case, if I wanted to join the client number, which is a string, to the string prod number, I could either leave just with a plus sign in between. Or, if I put between single quotes a dash, and then another plus, I get my client number plus a dash plus the product number. Now this is simple adding two strings together as it were. You're concatenating them. Now notice if I chose minus, doesn't really work the same. And if I try and divide it, also doesn't provide any results. But if I use the plus, it recognizes the two strings and can add them together. You can also check your formulas logic by going up to the x plus 2 with a check button underneath and clicking it. If your syntax is correct, meaning you've put the proper apostrophes where they need to be, as we did with the freeform text, which is a little dash, you should have no errors found. Instead of a dash, I could also type in whatever I wanted. As long as it's within those parentheses, Crystal will have no problem. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as a dash. Notice it's a dash as opposed to a minus sign because it's in quotes. When dealing with text and you're typing in your own freeform text into the formula, you need those quotes there so that Crystal recognizes it's not a piece of code or a piece of programming that will error out, but instead a piece of text to be displayed. Now if I save and close and I come back to my report, I'm going to go ahead and insert a section below my details to give myself a little more room. I'm going to take my test string and drag it into my detail section B. And I'm going to section expert my details A. I'm going to give it a color so we can differentiate a little faster. And click on preview. Notice now it's taken my client num plus my product num with a dash in between. You can add as many strings as you can together, as much as even more than your database allows. Because this is not being stored in your database, it's being stored in the report, your options for creating large field strings are enormous. Now, of course, you have another issue when you try and export, for example, an extra long string to Excel, which will only accept a certain number of characters in a given cell. But for the most part, you can work without limitations. Really, if you're going to put lots of text into a single text box, you should probably use a Word document, especially if you start getting above 300 words or so. However, this report is to use to do as you see fit. Let's observe some more functions that you may use. Let's go ahead and edit this string. Now, instead of adding these two together, let's say I just need the first three or the first four letters from this string in particular. I can type in mid, comma, give my starting point, the character number one, the first character it finds, and go four. If I go over to my string functions here and scroll down, here are my mid options for formulas. In this case, the str stands for the string you're trying to modify, in this case, which is our client number. It starts off with mid, open parenthesis, and I stick in my field that I want to modify, and then my start, which means find the first character in that string, and then 
the length, which gives me the next four. You can play around with these fields as you see fit. There's no really right or wrong. It depends how consistent your data is and if it's going to be meaningful after you're done. Now, if I save and close this, my client num up here is Q D A I, and that's what's reflected here. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that field right there in the preview reports and say edit formula. This brings me back to my formula workshop. All the fields that you see here can be modified inside the report. Keep in mind, you may modify it on the report, but in the underlying database, it stays exactly the same. This brings a lot of frustrations to lots of users out there who believe that the report reflects exactly what the database shows. And in some cases, it does not. But of course, database code translated into plain English is far more useful. This tool is great at doing that. Another word of caution. You can only use formulas that work with strings. You can find the length, you can trim, which is removing unwanted spaces and dots at the beginning and or end. You can uppercase them, you can lowercase them, you can reverse them. You can find the leftmost values, the rightmost values. You can filter, replace, join, split, among all these other options. You'll have to experiment to see if you actually even need to do this, or experiment to see if it would be helpful to join a couple fields together to make more sense. Again, Crystal gives you the option. I've shown you two basic formulas that may come in handy. Sometimes, the way the data is captured, we have information that's in the middle of a string that we just need to pull out so we can translate it into plain English.